All right, so um, as you can see, I've done a little bit more um, detail to the uh, bottom half of this um, static mesh and uh, getting some of those nice sort of biological creases in the, um, in the skin of our object. In fact, it sort of um, looks uh, almost like some sort of deformed skull or um, perhaps some evil corn-eating clown. Um, I find that with a lot of uh, biological structures or um, particularly if you're sort of trying to unsettle the, um, uh, the player, it's best to, um, to have this sort of suggestion of previous or pre-existing biological shapes. Particularly bringing faces out in your objects um, can sort of be a little bit unsettling for people playing the game, um, but uh, unsettling in a fun way, hopefully. So I'll just uh, zoom in. I'm going to show you another tool that you um, you can use to uh, um, sculpt this mesh, and that's the drag rectangle tool. Uh, actually, it's a uh, a stroke type rather than an actual um, uh, brush or tool if you want it to be technical. Uh, so we have drag rectangle and we uh, look for an alpha to, a to apply and I'm going to go with this one. It's a nice sort of biological looking alpha. Now if we um, to use the drag rectangle uh, stroke it's very similar to dragging a tool um, out on your canvas uh, you just click uh, in the center of where you want the item and then you drag the um, drag with your mouse to uh, to scale it into your scene and you can see that we have this sort of very nice subtle pop marked um, feature here uh, now if we wanted to um, increase our intensity just to sort of just as a demonstration of how this alpha looks you can see that we have this sort of um, almost like rippling water or um, sort of uh, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of things left in the bottom of pots and pans uh, for a couple of weeks that look a lot like that um, so that's the uh, th that's one sort of effect that you can have if say for example you wanted uh, you like this alpha but you um, you'd prefer it if it was reversed in some way so that the um, the indentations become protrusions. Uh, you can go here to um, Z sub uh, instead of Z add. Or what I like to do is just hold the Alt key, and if you drag with the Alt key, you can see that it drags out with that alpha, but the values are reversed, and so anything that is subtracted here is added here. So that's something that you uh, you should keep in mind with alphas. And let's just have a look at some of the other alphas that we can use. Try to stay away from sort of um, uh, definite uh, inorganic sort of alphas if you're doing an organic model. Um, and anything that uh, um, you may be surprised, some of these um, look all right, but um, uh, I wouldn't leave it like that. I would then go over that with a smooth brush, try and break that up in some way, uh, just to give it that sort of that pinched um, organic look. Um, now, one alpha that I use a lot when I'm doing organic modeling is alpha 22, and this alpha uh, it, it sort of reminds me of some sort of uh, spider vein sort of uh, network. And to use it I just sort of bring down the intensity about 10 usually just to sort of give it that that just slight shading. Now the great thing about this alpha is that you can then go over the alpha with um, dragging out smaller versions of um, of the alpha in order to make it look like these veins are actually branching out again. 
don't like that, I'll just undo that. But you can see that it sort of it gives the impression of the sort of um larger arterial vessels that are going into uh capillaries, sort of finer veins and um in the uh, extremities of these um of these uh, vessels. You can drag out these sorts of things. I'm doing this um a bit haphazardly. Uh, just sort of as a demonstration of uh, of what you can do, um, and then once you've sort of uh, got that worked out, uh, you can of course um, come in here and go back to your normal uh, format and just sort of smooth things out just a little bit, just to sort of give it a more sort of subtle. Um, uh, subtle look so that you can just sort of see these veins coming through from under the skin just to sort of look like it is actually feeding a blood supply rather than sort of uh, a scratched on design and so just going back to the drag rectangle um, Let's have a look at some of these other alphas. This one can be uh, quite popular with a lot of people, um, particularly for doing uh, striations. A lot of people use this one on cracked uh, lips, and you can see you can sort of have these sorts of um, these sorts of cracks or or um, creases across a. Um, an object like that and uh, if for example you wanted to um, you wanted to bring those out um, or sort of uh, yeah that that there is actually uh, bringing the creases out uh, and holding down the alt key I managed to just um, bring uh just reverse that so that it's actually subtracting and so it's it's putting the creases um in so so it's actually carving out these these lines from our object and um that's something to keep in mind if um uh if you do a a whole heap of these and it doesn't look right um and you realize that it's actually adding to your um to your mesh instead of subtracting from it um it can be a pain. Um, uh, that's why a lot of people might use. Um, well, I wouldn't use that one because the uh, the actual white would be um, brought out, which means that it would have these sorts of lines around the edges. There, uh, you could sort of bring your focal shift um, down, which you can see uh, reduces the um, inner circle uh, on your brush on your your cursor for your brush which means that it has a much sort of softer fall off if you wanted to use an alpha like that and so there we can we can have creases like that I'm just going to undo a few of these uh, I might keep those veins in but I'll sort of uh, undo a lot of this and um, and yeah if you uh, if you want to ap uh, apply these to um, uh, very specific areas. You can, of course, uh, come in with the. Um, if we just go back to that and that, we can come in and we can mask off areas, and then we can click with our ma with our control button held to soften out the edges of that mask. And then if we reverse that, we can use the drag rectangle to bring in the uh, the the alpha just in that area there. And so yeah, hmm, look like eyebrows. Uh, so that's using the drag rectangle and alphas to uh, introduce texture into your geometry.